Well, you know, Michelle, his visit to this memorial comes on a big day on Capitol Hill for gun control, and we did ask him about those measures before the Senate. Now, the governor and his wife were out here at this still growing memorial for about an hour, comforting those affected. He shook hands, hugged, and in one case even prayed with people seeking some sort of comfort. Now, his visit comes as the Senate is set to take up four measures today on gun control just over a week since the attack. The governor told us this morning he does not think gun control is the answer. Well, let's all let's let's be realistic. The Second Amendment uh, didn't cause this, you know, didn't shoot into some people. I mean, evil did, ISIS did, radical Islam did. Now some background on a couple of those Senate proposals. One backed by the NRA would delay gun sales to suspected terrorists for up to 72 hours. Meantime, Democrats are pushing a separate no fly, no buy measure to block those on the terror watch list and some others from purchasing weapons. Now out here we have seen folks all morning leaving flowers, cards, some even playing music to mourn those lives lost. The governor's wife says they will do whatever they can to help those who are grieving. Reporting live in Orlando, Hadass Brown. West 2 News.